Each March, Kelloland Media Group celebrates local women who inspire, lead, and forge the way for other women. It's not just about one day or one month, it's about what they do day in and day out. Kelloland News' Bridget Bennett and I have been lucky enough to play a role in the selection and the honoring of the well-deserving women selected as the Remarkable Women of Kelloland over the past few years. And she's joining us in the studio today so we can tell you more about what type of women have been selected for this honor and how you can nominate a woman in your life to be among those considered for the 2024 prize. Remarkable Women is part of a nationwide Next Star Media initiative to honor the influence that women have had on public policy, social progress, and the quality of life. Welcome. Thank you. It's fun to be here. Uh in the morning to actually see you at a different time of day. I know, and we've do, we've loved doing this, um, this Remarkable Women, because we get to know so many women, and we get to know what they're doing, and it often leads us to even other stories that we can continue to do. Always. I think that's my favorite part about this program, is showcasing the amazing women in our community. Um, and it's so crazy to find out there's people who live here that you had no idea were doing such incredible things. I got to interview a scientist one year who's doing incredible research at Sanford Health. Mm -hmm. um, just amazing things and then you meet them and find out the great work they're doing and the impact they're making in our community. I love that you bring up that it's often a time we get to know people we didn't know because we have a variety of, of um, you know, sort of these honor, honor things that we do. We have, you know, tribute to women and we have awards. But we often see some people that are really visible. And this is a great opportunity to nominate the person in your life that is doing something amazing, but maybe isn't as visible. Exactly. And it's not just a one, you know, not just those people who are out in public, mm -hmm. up on the stage all the time that you see, although we want those people too. Right. You can absolutely nominate some of those people. But it's a great opportunity for that person who's doing incredible research behind the scenes. Someone who um, maybe is reading and, and teaching people to read every day, or, yeah. or maybe they're an amazing therapist or doctor or something like that that's making a true impact in our community. I think that's what I've seen. Uh, the people who get nominated and the people we showcase are the people who are really making an impact. Yeah, sometimes the unsung heroes too. Yeah. Let's talk about what a remarkable woman really is, those kind of qualifications that we're looking for. Yeah, we're definitely looking for um, people who've had some achievement, um, whether that's uh, an incredible award of their own or an achievement in helping others, um, maybe an achievement in helping their community. Um, they have innovation, creativity, and an entrepreneurial spirit. So if you're a business owner, a, a female business owner who's had an impact on your community that way, just by opening up a new store or opportunity for your community, maybe a restaurant owner, mm -hmm. um, things like that, uh, social workers, all kinds of people, really any walk of life. I've done stories even with people who run an office, but they're so good at what they do of thanking people, um, reaching out to people and making them feel special and loved and unique and I think that that's the quality that makes you really remarkable how you make people feel and we've seen stories too of women nominated who it's a self-achievement it's overcoming barriers often um, it's where you go from sometimes some of the darkest places yeah from some of the things you've gone through I think mm -hmm. so too that's a huge one last year's winner uh, Vicki Stewart incredible woman who has done so much uh, to help other people who are living with disabilities in the mm -hmm. Sioux Falls area. And her story was incredible to hear and to share and just so inspiring. And the winner gets to go on, right, to a national party, really, in competition. And Vicki shared pictures all along the journey, which was so fun for us to see what she was able to be to, to do. Um, and what she was able to kind of experience. It's really a celebration of all of these incredible women across the country. Um, Next, our media group is all over the U.S. and we are celebrating women everywhere in all of the communities that we serve. There are so many remarkable women that we'd love to, a chance to celebrate them all, but we choose one winner every year and we'll pick one woman from Kelloland who gets to go on this incredible trip and really celebrate the amazing things that you've done for Kelloland, but also a chance to meet Meet these other women from across the country who are doing great things in their own communities. It is a tough process to judge though. Let's talk about the nomination details and what people really need to do to make sure they're nominating that woman in their life because we're gonna sit and read them. I'm not reading them this year. I don't get to judge this year, but I have in the past and it's really hard. Yeah, there are so many people doing mm -hmm. so many great things. And so when you uh, nominate someone, you really wanna highlight all the things that they are so unique, that's so unique about them, the impact that they're making, 
um, the deadline, November 30th. <laughs> Make sure you get it in before then. Make sure you get it in. We are going to pick four finalists. And again, that's one of the hardest points is narrowing it down to four out of all the applications we get. And it's from everywhere. It doesn't have to be in Sioux Falls. Right. You can be from anywhere in Kettle Land and nominate someone. We've driven a couple hours away to meet with people. So please send us in from anywhere. Our finalists uh, will be announced in March on Kettle Land News and on Kettle Land Living. And then our winner will be revealed during our Remarkable Women special broadcast. It's one of my favorite specials of the year, just to bring all of their stories together and share them. And it's really special because the four finalists do all, you do a story with all of them and you go out and you talk to them and, and they're, they're beautiful stories. And then we love having them in the studio or via Zoom and sharing the story that was that you aired and then also getting to talk to them about what that was like, the experience and really having sometimes something that they don't view as inspirational themselves, but when everybody sees it. Yeah. It is very inspiring. Mm -hmm. And don't let the camera part scare you. Right. <laughs> it's so great to sometimes people are nervous about coming out and sharing their story or they think my story isn't really that great. But once they come and they share it, it can you never know the impact your story can have on someone else. So please share. It's really a fun time to get to read through and to meet everybody. And I think even for us, we get inspired. Absolutely. Every time I've done these stories, and especially when I get to go out to their workplace or maybe their home or, or somewhere like that, and just to see um, the love they have, their family has for them, the coworkers, the community has for them, it's really inspiring. I think women often, I mean, I'll, I'll group all women in together a little bit that sometimes we don't we don't need the recognition, right? Like we are out there doing what we need to do to get done. Yes. And we don't think we need it. But when someone takes the time to do it, it still feels so good. It does. And I think that's why you should nominate more of our friends. I think that's the best thing is lifting each other up. So nominate that person who, again, feels like they don't need or deserve recognition. Those are some of the best as they're the unsung heroes. They're doing all the work, like you said, yeah. the doers. The doers. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here and talking about this with us more. And I can't wait to see the stories of the remarkable women this year. So thanks. I know. I'm so excited. Can't wait to meet you. This Kettle Land Living segment has been made possible by the Next Star Remarkable Women Initiative, honoring the influence that women have had on public policy, social progress, and the quality of life in our nation and in our local communities.